High school bowling district tournaments are happening across southwest Florida this week. The state championships will be held Tuesday through Thursday. And one of the teams in the finals is Mariner High School in Cape Coral. NBC 2 Jaron May introduces us to the Triton who has bowling in his blood. All right, let's see if we can get 10 here. Looks like we know how to bowl. Mariner High School's Trey Lemus was born to bowl. He was practically raised at the lanes. Get there. The shot. My mom started working at Bowling Alley. I had nothing else to do off of school, so I would stay until she started, until she got off, and I would just bowl countless hours and just try and get good. All of those hours to be just like his grandpa. Trey's grandfather is Robert Comito. He's got a game. A former professional bowler of 20 years and three-time PBA champion. So I bowled from 1980 to like 2000. Trey would go to the alley with his grandpa all the time and even sit lane side with the pros during competitions. I would see him shoot the high scores. When I was a kid, I was like, this is the craziest thing I've ever seen. And even now when I'm older, I see it. I'm like, this guy's insane. Him bowling 290s, 300s, and I would just watch it in awe and just... Hopefully try and be that. That's the goal now. Trey has become one of the best bowlers in Southwest Florida. Yeah, baby. Well, my first season, I couldn't ask for a better season. A great team, we're very well coached. We have a great coach and I have great teammates. And it doesn't hurt getting to learn from a pro. If you're targeting, you know when you got around it, mm -hmm. you would've been fine. So I'm making him come over once a month to spend two or three hours on the lanes with me because he needs it a lot right now. A family legacy living on in the lanes. It's a great thing to be able to do it together and, and have fun with it and, you know, be able to go out there and have a great time. Reporting in Cape Coral, Jaron May, NBC2.